The fur, that's why my hair looks like this. <laughs> I'm trying to keep my bangs out of my face so they don't get gross. Um, what are you doing? Anyway, this is the first photo shoot that I, like active wear photo shoot I've done since I've been pregnant. So I was a little, not nervous, just like interested to see how my confidence would be. Gave myself a spray tan last night. And I think I picked out some cute outfits. I have like, three to five outfits. This one just have a jacket to go over, then I have an all black one, but it's to show the Lululemon shoes. Lulu's just like walking back and forth and back and forth. And I also got the rest of the clothes for the next try on. I'm probably, I don't think I'm gonna have time to do that today. I might have to do it tomorrow. I don't know, we'll see. If I could get it done today, that would be amazing. But showing off these shoes. I've already worn them for a couple workouts but gonna get some pictures taken in them. I'm about to head off, like I said, but I have the ebb to street tank top on with some base pace tights. I definitely had to size up to a size six, size fours were not in the, uh, were not an option with the belly because they're like running tights. They have a pretty tight band at the top, but I actually think this looks pretty cute. And yeah, then I have, I have some dresses cause you guys wanted to see some dresses. And I'm like, you know what? If I'm like all put together, I want to get some cute spring pictures. Why not take them in the comfy Lulu dresses with my little Ugg slide on things. So let's head off. It's going to be great. I'm in a much better mood than I was yesterday. Yesterday I was just feeling like blah, not necessarily about my appearance, just like in general, I was just having like a meh day so the thought of having to drive downtown to get pictures taken and probably stuff i wasn't going to be the most comfortable in because it looked like it was going to be cold sun's out it's warm i'm like <laughs> ready to go and the tan turned out pretty good i did mess up my ankle a little bit but it's not horrible <laughs> I despise driving downtown and it was actually going very smooth. I was like, this is great. It's a great time of day, the middle of the day, and I should be leaving before it gets too busy. But of course we're shooting at the state house and I started pulling up like my GPS was like, it's the next on your right. And I'm like, mm, looks like a ton of construction right in front of the building. So there was no parking spots. I'm in this massive parking garage, but anyway, very happy. There's also so many pillows in the back of my car because we got patio furniture. I will show you that when we get home. The thing that sucks about having garage parking, I'm gonna have to figure out um, how, I don't know where I'm gonna change. I have multiple outfits. We'll figure it out. Let go.
is a disaster right now. I can feel it, but it is so much later in the day. It is almost 6.30. The photo shoot ended up going over by like an hour, which was totally fine because it was the photo shoot and video shoot. I didn't get to the last outfit I was hoping to, the um, like tan dress with the cute little shoes. So I'm gonna schedule a, another photo shoot with Lindsay some other time to do like a f actual like maternity shoot to kind of like document this like mid process because I have the pictures from our first trimester. I think it would be fun to have pictures from the second and then obviously I'll get, I'll probably get two rounds of pictures in the third, or maybe just one, I don't know. I feel like you wanna do it early enough so you know for sure, like just in case you go into labor early, you have your like final bump picture, um, or like, you know, when you're towards the end of your pregnancy. But anyway, so I'm gonna do that, but it went really well. I would have shown you what I ate when I got home, but I was starving and just made it super quick. So I made a chicken quesadilla. We're out of peppers and onions. So it was literally just chicken cut up <laughs> with cheese and tortillas. Very exciting. And then I made a full caffeine coffee because I was really hoping to stop at Lifetime and get my smoothie on the way home, but I was trying to make sure I got home in time. Lulu, but Chris actually ended up coming home a little early because he doesn't feel the best. So anyway made my chicken quesadilla, made my coffee, and also had a protein bar. So I'm kind of caught up on meals for the day. I'm definitely, I'll have something else later tonight, but it'll probably be like a salad and not for a couple hours. I think I'm gonna try to take Lulu on a walk. She is currently snoozing at the front door, but I wanted to show you. We'll have a quick little unboxing. I got some stuff in the mail. First things first, I got my, I got the Lulu package which all those clothes will be in the next video. But I also finally used my gift card. I've had an APL gift card since Christmas that I hadn't used yet. And I thought these were really cute because I have a lot of the colors already, but these are perfect to match with like tan leggings and gray and white and black. So I got those, used up my gift card. I thought, I thought that was a good pair to use it on since they're so neutral. I don't know what's in this. Bomar. Oh. <laughs> if you don't know, Bomar does monthly, like you can sign up for monthly subscription plans. So prenatal, prenatal collagen, probiotic, and fish oil. Those are the ones that I personally have on the like monthly reorder so I don't even have to think about it. And then if something sells out online, you still get your product because they pull back a bunch of inventory for monthly subscription people. So prenatal in particular, if you're pregnant, obviously their prenatal has a lot of really good reviews. That's what I've been taking this whole time. Prenatal probiotic and collagen, I would say sell out most frequently. Um, I've had the collagen on pre-order for a while now, but I think Lulu might be up because mama's not happy. So I got my prenatal and then this, I believe is a new product that they just announced today that I'm very excited to try. Oh yeah. So when I was coming up with my blueberry lemonade immunity, I had also kind of thrown out there, I was like, blueberry mojito would be good. Like I love mojitos. And she was like, ooh, we're already, <laughs> we're already doing a flavor in that uh, or a product in that flavor. So I haven't tried this yet, but this is sharp, full transparency. I don't take sharp all that often, but I'm super excited to try this. Someone just tagged me another athlete um, and they tried this mixed with my blueberry lemonade immunity. And they said that my like lemonade flavor kind of masked the mint. I would assume that meant that she was trying to like, maybe she's not a huge mint person or the mint in here is a little subtle more subtle. So anyway, we'll have to try this and I'm glad you're up. Would you like a treat? Do you want to come watch her open this? Lulu! Come here, sweetie. Can you sit? Lulu, sit. Yes. Ooh. What do you think? What do you think? Oh, very cute. Very cute. Does he extend? I'm confused, what does this do? Do you want him? Here you go, go get him. 
So we got our little bark box. This one is smaller than the Valentine's Day one I got. This is like, I think our normal monthly one. So this is Madagascar Unleashed. This one's cool. You want the treats, huh? Yeah, those are more the ones that you love. You love those. No. <laughs> she's, she's like, screw the toys. I'll just take the treats. You're not a squeaker? She loved the, oh, here we go. His face. Um, she loved the toys, loves the toys that were in the Valentine's Day box because they have like the crinkle to them. They have the squeaker and they're still nice and plush. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna take her on a walk, I think. Get her some exercise. Ooh, and then I'll, I guess I'll take you outside while it's still light out. So I can show you the patio furniture. We still have the covers on the cushions, like the plastic wrap that it came in because the like actual furniture covers I ordered off of Amazon won't be here until tomorrow and the next day, I believe. I ordered a couch one and two chair covers, but it was so annoying at, um, we got the stuff at Lowe's in their, the Allen and Roth brand. I thought that they would sell covers to go over. <laughs> um, like Allen and Roth covers, just to make sure that they would fit. They didn't. When I was buying the covers on Amazon, I just got ones that were a little bit bigger than the measurements we have. So like <laughs> guaranteeing they'll fit. I don't know, hopefully they fit, we'll see. But it does look really cute out there. So I'll take you out there and then we'll go on a walk. You don't even know what that means yet. No, but you do enjoy them. It is the next, next day, or the next day, I don't know. I recorded the entire spring Lululemon haul yesterday, reviewed the shoes, and then had to edit that, and I took a break and sat outside for like two hours, answered some questions on Instagram, and just tried to chill for a little bit, and then went upstairs and started editing, and that took me the rest of the day. So that was super fun. I haven't worked out in two days because the photo shoot, and then, Yesterday was just full of recording. So I just pulled up to the gym. I'm gonna go do hamstrings and glutes and I think walk for a little bit. I'm not too concerned because it's so nice out today. I'm sure we're gonna take Lulu on a walk or I'll go on a walk at home. But picking up today, vlogging, even though I've slacked. But I've been recording. It just hasn't hasn't been for the vlog. And I actually, I mean, I didn't sleep like amazing last night, but I didn't wake up nearly the, nearly the amount of times that I have been waking up recently, which has been like literally every 30 minutes. I think I woke up three or four times last night, but I must have been able to go back, back to bed pretty quick because I feel, you know, you have to say like bright eyed and bushy tailed. That's me today. I'm in a great mood. I feel wonderful. And I think I got like a solid five hours of sleep. <laughs> I'm going to be like super high energy and then just like crash at the end of the day probably. But you know what? I'm going to enjoy it while it lasts. And we're definitely going to sit outside today. And I still need to show you the patio furniture. We'll do that when we get home because I love it. And I still need to bring the rest of the pillows out there and figure out how I want to set those up. Look at me like I'm crazy when I shut my feelings down. Look at me like I'm different. Still you stay cause you feel something real. Get so lost in my moments. Doesn't mean I don't need you. I, I, I fell in love with your colors. They kind of tell me what I'm thinking. I fell in love with the way we are and the way we lose it. There's something different about us. So yes, I am in my Like a Cloud bra and LA side panel short. Is it like a thug bra? 
like a clown at oh, all. I'm sorry. <gasps> Touch. Touch. <laughs> Are you sleepy? Yeah, she's tired. You're tired. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. That's our almost 30 pound girl. <laughs> Chris brought in the other three pillows. I need to take those outside. I will put a shirt on because our neighbors are outside. Oh. But this was a sale scuba. Can you believe it? Sale. Why? I don't know, but I'll take it. So I got this and we got our chair covers. I was also just filling up our empty uh, wallflowers, but I still need to take my pills, one probiotic. We're not gonna have fish for dinner, are we? Because if we are, I'm not gonna take my, my fish oil. We don't have any, huh? Can you just speak up? Whatever, I'm gonna assume we're not having fish, so I'm gonna have my two fish oil. So this way I must all have something else for dinner. I think we have chicken we have to make, so I might just have another chicken salad. Two prenatal, one probiotic, two fish oil. Yum. I'm also kind of shocked that I haven't gotten sick because Chris came down with like a cold, sinusy something. And I had my photo shoot and video shoot with Lindsay and her husband and she texted me today and she's like, sorry, I came down with whatever my mom had. She kind of had like the flu. I'm like, man, is it my immunity? <laughs> is it just that I don't leave the house? I don't know. Um, so I'm very thankful I haven't gotten sick. I actually feel great today despite, well, I already told you. I got more sleep than normal, I think, but still I'm definitely not like caught up and I had a really long day with work yesterday, but I feel really good. So I'm gonna go put a shirt on. We'll go outside and I'll show you. What are they doing? Ooh, babe, the neighbors are hanging a TV. They have like a, they have a hot tub with a little, what it was that called, a gazebo? What would, that's not just like a normal covered thing. It's like a gazebo or something over their hot tub and they're putting a TV up underneath that. That'll be nice. Mmm, very cool. Anyway, I'll take you outside, show you the new patio furniture. And then I need to sit down and do a lot of computer work. A lot of it. Because I didn't record for the vlog yesterday, I forgot to show these. Chris brought these home as a surprise. I was very underwhelmed with last week's cookies. I'm gonna try to tip this back. There we go. Um, last week's cookies were like all the cereal ones. And I think this was like the first one I saw for this week. And I was like, oh, they're doing cereal again. That's the only one. It was like the St. Patrick's Day theme. So this is like a mint chocolate. It tastes like an Andy's mint. I liked that a lot. Chris hated it. Um, this is like a to salted toffee. That one was by far our favorite. Some kind of peanut butter chocolate, much better than Chris and I both expected because it's not like too overwhelming. Their chocolate chip is always my favorite. I need to put that in the fridge or freezer to save it. This was not our favorite, obviously. <laughs> Barely ate any of it. Chris liked that one. It, I feel like it was better than last week. Um, I'm just still not a huge frosting person. So salted or yeah, salted toffee or whatever the heck that was called was really good. I would say these, <laughs> the basic one and then those two are a favorite. still red I can't quite see um <laughs> that is gonna be it for the video I just got done oh no not too bad definitely a little swollen had a little bit of a rough day but 
it is what it is. We're moving forward. All right, just finished editing the rest of this video. The Q1 challenge ends this weekend on my birthday. And then the Q2 challenge launches on next Friday, um, on April 1st. Right but like the day before we leave for our baby moon, which I'm just so excited for. I know I've already talked about that. Um, so yeah, with all the stuff I've had on my plate, plus not being able to sleep. I know I touched on that a little bit in here. My sleep is horrible and it doesn't seem to matter what I do. I've tried taking magnesium. I don't take naps in the middle of the day because I assumed if I didn't take naps, then I would, you know, be more tired at night and maybe sleep more throughout the night. So I'm hoping it's just like a phase I'm in right now and then that maybe it will get better. Realistically, it could get worse through the third trimester because I know I think most of it is just that I'm uncomfortable Like I cannot get comfortable at night So if you have any recommendations of things that I can try maybe a different pillow Chris and I were talking about maybe taking our we have like a mattress topper. That's really soft. Normally. I love that I'm thinking maybe taking that off and trying to see if like a more firm surface words more firm surface would help so I might try that, um, but yeah, <laughs> a little bit of a breakdown today and it's okay because there is a lot on my plate. I also think, because this is the hard part, I share my whole life, but right now it's like a double-edged sword. If I share and say that I'm overwhelmed, people are like, you really need to like give yourself some grace right now because you need to rest up for when the baby's here. and like. Totally understand that, totally get that, I hear ya. That's also just not totally realistic, if I'm being honest. Like, I have definitely given myself a lot of grace compared to pre-pregnancy. The amount of work I get done now has, has definitely decreased since before I got pregnant, so I think I've done a good job. But there's also certain things where it's like, you just gotta get it done, and that's gonna be the same when she is here. Like, when you own your own business and when you are the one who has to do all the things. She's kicking me right now. She's like, yeah, mom, you got this. <laughs> um, there are certain things that you just, you gotta, you gotta put on your big girl pants and you gotta do it. That is this week and next week. I need to just finish up all of the stuff I have going on. And then I have a little bit of a break, which will be so nice. And I'm for sure gonna get the next guy done way in advance because I didn't even think about it. It's wild to think about this. The next guide, the Q2 challenge starts on April 1st. It ends the weekend that she is due, AKA I'm for sure not going to be worried about writing a guide, doing all the little, like all the little detailed things that go along with it. I'm going to have everything completely done at least three weeks in advance and just like totally off my plate and into my website guy's hand so he can like do everything on the back end. But all of the little things that I need to do, I'm gonna be super on top of it and knock all of it out because I am, although I'm not gonna take like a proper maternity leave just because that's once again, not totally realistic for me. Um, I am definitely gonna lighten my workload and like do as much as I can with that. So anyway. I believe that was a very rambly clip. <laughs> that is going to be it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I was just about to say it was definitely all over the place, but that's because my life is all over the place right now. It's just busy with work. So I get consumed like doing something on my computer. Like when I was recording and editing for the Lululemon video, didn't think to vlog. And then when I'm doing stuff on my computer for the challenges, it's like the only thing I can really record is me sitting working on the computer. That's not super fun. I guess I could do like a full day of eating. I should do a full day of eating soon. Anyway, I just, I was telling Chris, I'm like, I just want one night. One night of really good sleep. And I, th I honestly think I would feel like a whole new person. <laughs> so here's to hopefully a great night of sleep tonight. I always, I always get in bed early. Like I try to set myself up for success. I fall asleep really quick and then I just wake up and I fall asleep and then I wake up and then it's like, it's just a, it's a vicious cycle. I'm gonna try to take some magnesium tonight again and maybe take like a bath and then some magnesium right before I go to bed. And maybe that'll just be like the perfect little concoction tonight to just help me zonk out. That'd be amazing. But 
once again. All is well. I will get everything done. Yeah, this is just, this is life. We all go through stressful periods. We all go through, <laughs> or we all have times where we like, you know, you kind of hit your breaking point and you're like, oh my gosh. You just need to cry it out a little bit. And I did that, made a plan, made a checklist, getting everything done. I already have this video edited, like it's light outside. This is incredible. It is 4.57 and I'm gonna finish ending the vlog, upload that, export the video. I'm gonna have the thumbnail made tonight. So I'm, I'm crushing it, you know? Very proud of myself. I still have to figure out what the heck I want for dinner. Maybe beef it pizza? That sounds good. I need to stop rambling. This clip is going to be forever long. Thank you for watching the video. I will see you in the next one. The Lululemon shoes are available in select stores today and online. I'm not totally sure when the shoes are going to be dropped online. If they aren't already on the website, I would just look out for them when they drop their normal like Tuesday new items. I will make sure to post as soon as I see them on my closet by Kel and on my main Instagram. They are for sure gonna be on the website at some point today if they aren't already, so. If you choose to buy them and shop through my link or just in general, if you ever shop through, acid reflux is also a super fun thing. <laughs> um, if you ever choose to shop through my links or my codes, thank you so much, it means the world. I realize that is you just being a nice human and like taking the time to do that for most of the time, no discount or anything, especially like Lulu, it's literally just to support me and that means the world. Um, and I cannot wait to hear what your thoughts are on the shoes. So if you buy them, please let me know. I would love all of the opinions and I'm so excited for their training shoes to come out. I could have used them on my hamstring and glute day because I've been doing a lot more just like strength training days like that on leg days just because that's kind of the only thing I can do that like feels still comfortable. So I'm talking way too much. I'll see you in the next video.